Yeah. Um, so I was invited to tell a little bit more about smart cities. What I've noticed in the uh, in the Philippines that when we talk to different LGUs, they think of smart cities by just deploying CCTVs. But as mentioned in the uh, questionnaire just earlier, a smart city isn't smart because it uses technology. It's smart because it uses technology to make its citizens' lives better. So the way uh, it does that is by integrating ICT. So there are different solutions uh, like IoT, Internet of Things, where sensors are being provided like uh, soil, CO2, water levels uh, to measure data and to report that back within the municipality. Um, cities are becoming more data driven. That means that they use the data gathered to improve the infrastructure, public utilities and services to manage resources and plan future development. Smart cities often focus on sustainable practices that reduce environmental impact, such as energy efficient buildings, reduce greenhouse emission and improve waste management. I think some of this were already in the questionnaires earlier. Um, improvement in transportation systems, uh, healthcare, education, safety are often realized through the use of smart technologies. Technology is used to enhance um, interaction between the city and its citizen, often through mobile apps or dedicated portals. Cities often are prioritized innovative solutions to traffic and transportation like smart traffic, management systems, smart parking, and infrastructure. Some of these technologies you'll see already in different LGUs uh, all over the Philippines. Now, um, there is no smart city without connected citizens. And that's the portion where NextLogic is focused on. We want to solve the first layers uh, first before becoming a smart city. Uh, currently in the Philippines, around 20 to 25% are um, fixed postpaid internet users. Around 20 to 25% can afford prepaid. And prepaid is mainly used on mobile networks. And as we've all experienced, there is a lot of dead spots or locations where there is no mobile connectivity at all. And a staggering 59% can't afford internet connectivity at all, or they might be able to purchase some prepaid load once a, once a week or once a month. Now, connectivity is the heartbeat of smart cities. Lack of connectivity leads to a digital divide, impeding access to essential smart services. A smart city must be inclusive, offering equal technological access to its residents. And without universal access, the functionality and efficiency of smart cities are compromised. And that, in my opinion, we cannot achieve smart cities without connecting every citizen first. Now, what are the benefits of uh, connectivity? Uh, connectivity gives access to information, it gives access to e-government services so people do not need to go to a municipality to submit a document or get some information. Um, it gives access to communication and engagement, uh, remote learning and skill development. Uh, we have mainly seen that during COVID, uh, during the lockdown, where schools have been closed for over three years and um, a lot of uh, students and children were not able to study because of connectivity, lack of connectivity. Um, economic opportunities, COVID showed us that as well. Um, it generated almost a completely new or opened up a new industry, the uh, work from home or school from home. And uh, it gives easier access to telehealth um, and medical services. That means somebody in a remote area can easily um, uh, get advice through internet uh, access through all the different apps which are available. Now, who is the Next Logic? Next Logic started in 2015, which was a spin-off of uh, iAccess for All, um, and we initially focused on empowering small, medium-sized cable TV operators, which were offering only cable TV services in the beginning and converting them into uh, internet providers as well. So we have a full turnkey solution, which we offer to our partners, uh, where they, uh, where we apply supply all the hardware, all the software, the bandwidth and the remote support uh, for them to deliver this uh, internet services. In a nutshell, we provide postpaid um, fiber internet, prepaid fiber internet, 
And since 2020, during COVID, we are also doing uh, LGU partnerships, which I will tell a little bit more in a few. So next, Logic aims to connect all people from all walks of life, regardless of their socioeconomic status, by providing unlimited TV content and internet access through an open, fast fiber network in the country and truly providing internet for everyone. Now, at its center of the whole solution stands our router STB, which we have developed in-house. So normally, if you uh, get your internet connection, then your telco or your ISP will provide you a router with Wi-Fi. And if you have digital TV, then you'll get another box from your TV operator uh, to watch your digital content. What we did is we put those two different boxes into a single box, and that runs on an Android platform. And with two USBs inside the box, we basically can convert every box into a tablet or a mini PC, basically. Now, the box obviously is um, connected to a GPON network and uh, provides wireless Wi-Fi access. And then on top of that, on the STB part, we have developed a platform which we call Jeepstream that provides uh, live TV, video on demand, pay-per-view, uh, advertisement services. Um, we developed a solution during COVID, which we call Jeep Meet, a video conference. So uh, students and teachers could have unlimited free online learning within the, the platform. Um, we have a tool which we call the Lucky Spin, where users can upgrade their uh, speed daily at no costs and a bulletin board uh, system, uh, which is integrated. Now, once you connect that box uh, to the TV, then uh, you'll see here some screenshot how that looks like. So you'll see at the top, we have different categories like live TV, latest news, uh, Pulilan in this case, uh, Depet TV, news and politics, and that continues with all kinds of other uh, uh, content. So in the left screen, you'll see that there is a top which is called Pulilan. Uh, that's where we did our first Community Connect project with, where we provide LGU community news and events. Uh, we disseminate um, announcements in real time, as well as disaster warnings. And we create localized news, um, business and sports um, uh, within the municipality. Uh, the box gives also free access to free-to-air uh, TV. So instead of receiving the signals uh, through air, which is analog, or ISDBT, we convert that signal into IP and then stream the free-to-air channels to every single box, uh, which can be f uh, viewed at no cost. Then uh, we have partnerships with Depet where we provide educational content uh, on the box. So households can basically, uh, whenever they want, uh, to view that educational uh, content and e-learning materials. So we're doing partnerships with other um, uh, entities where they provide uh, content, which we then can place on the box. And then people at home can basically view that content. Um, people can stay connected, updated of on-demand latest news. So we fetch in real-time news from all the different channels like YouTube and Facebook, and then integrate that in the box so people don't have to search anymore for news, but it's presented uh, to them in real time. Then we build a bulletin board platform, uh, which is being used as a screensaver on the box uh, and can also be connected uh, to LED screens uh, throughout the municipality. Now, through the bulletin board system, uh, the LGU now can manage uh, all the news and information in um, and can be distributed in real time to all the different screens. We allow the platform also to um, break in into the bulletin board for live broadcasts. So we can uh, stream the live um, uh, flag raising ceremonies on Mondays, or uh, we can stream during uh, pre-disaster events to update people. There is an app store integrated in the, um, uh, in the box where by default there is applications like Chrome, uh, YouTube, um, Netflix, and several other applications. The app store is closed. So that means users cannot install their own apps, uh, but we can remotely upgrade the apps basically within the box. So that's the basic of the hardware which we are providing uh, and uh, basically connects 
uh, and digitizes all information within a specific LGU. Now, one of, of our flagship projects is Community Connect. During COVID, we saw a need uh, in connectivity and mainly in the indigent households. We found out that 59% of the population belongs to the e DNE social class, which hardly can afford to pay for internet connectivity. So these households have been, uh, the students of these households have not been able to attend classes uh, during the lockdown from 2020 to, I believe, somewhere 2022, uh, when classes opened up again. So we try to come up with a solution where we do partnerships with local LGUs um, and then provide unlimited free internet access to these indigent households. So we started this model in 2021 and um, connected initially 2,000 households, which is servicing around 10,000 people within the municipality. The mayor of Polila liked the project that much that they extend they uh, extending the project to 17,000 households, uh, which we are deploying now in phases. So we did last year, we added another 5,000. So it's a total of 7,000 households servicing over 30,000 people. This year, we're adding another five, and next year, we're adding another 5,000. So that makes a total of 17,000 households servicing 80,000 people with free internet connectivity inside their homes. Um, the available services which we are um, developing towards the smart city is we start first by connecting every single household. So households that can afford to pay for internet connectivity, they can choose who they want to uh, uh, sign up to. Uh, we have prepaid plans for the ones that can afford uh, internet connectivity, but want to pay for it when they need it. And we have free connectivity for the indigent households. So currently, uh, some of the services which we are providing already in Pulilan are online education, where we connected um, all the teachers within the LGU, which is around 500 teachers and around 7,000 households, which is more or less around 20, 25,000 students. Uh, within the municipality using online education. We create localized content. So we have a small media team which creates news, uh, does all the uh, sport events uh, happening within the municipality, which we then stream live on the box. Uh, our bulletin board is live where the LGU updates its information in real time. So they don't need to put their information on a USB key and go to the LED wall, insert it to be able to update. So with the bulletin board platform and the CPE, which um, which we have, they can now immediately update any information they need or can stream uh, uh, live content um, directly to all the screens. Uh, jobs and livelihood. So we're working together with JCI, where JCI creates um, educational content for people to learn uh, online selling or uh, how to uh, post their products on Facebook um, uh, live. And we do uh, live events, but we do also streaming events within the community. We provide telemedicine. So we connected all the rural health units within the municipality and through the online platform, uh, which you can see like similar like Zoom, households can now directly connect to the rural health units and ask for advice. We are about to um, uh, integrate IoT solutions um, into the municipality where we'll have uh, sensors uh, for CO2, soil, and water and electric meters uh, deployed. Uh, the next phase of uh, the whole project is to solve the financial inclusion. These indigent households are also the ones that are unconnected. So we will provide them uh, with a fintech solution so they'll become uh, basically banked. We're working on an e-commerce platform. So the local indigent households, which are mostly small entrepreneurs, they either sell a product or sell a service, will have a localized platform uh, where they can uh, put their products on and sell them within the community or within the surrounding communities. And there's many, many other um, uh, things which we are looking at deploying within the LGU. Now, um, talking a little bit more about the project impact and our future plans. So as mentioned, um, 
there are still over 3 billion people unconnected in the world. In the Philippines, it's we're looking at roughly around 14 million households, which is around 80 million people that cannot or uh, have very limited access to internet connectivity. Um, and studies have shown by improving internet connectivity and connecting people to the internet, it has uh, proven that the GDP has a growth of 0.3% by doubling the internet speed alone. So as mentioned, we started the project in 2021 during COVID, uh, initially started, uh, started it um, basically for online learning where we connected 500 teachers and 1,500 households um, within the local area network, within the municipality, and provided internet, uh, free internet access. The project, however, did not start that way. The initial model of the project was to uh, provide unlimited free internet access um, to all .org, edu, and gov websites. So knowledge and educational content was free accessible and uh, unlimited online learning um, within the schools, within the municipality. And if users wanted to go to YouTube or Facebook or browse the internet, then they had to buy loads. The load which we had, uh, which was sold through Sari Sari stores, was as low as 20 pesos for six hours and 50 pesos for one day. We found out that um, even 20 pesos was too much for these households to pay. That 20 pesos, they had to choose between buying internet load or buying food. And when we found that out, we had to figure out a way in still being able to provide internet services to these households. So that means that the internet connectivity, um, uh, which we were providing, we had to generate revenue streams from somewhere else. So we developed different solutions within the platform where we now can earn uh, through advertisement, data analytics, and through content, which we are locally uh, creating, which allows us to provide uh, internet connectivity at no cost to all the 17,000 households, which we will have be finished by next year. So we've been talking to several other LGUs to duplicate this project. Um, we've now uh, about to close seven other LGUs that will allow us to connect 150,000 households and servicing over 700,000 people all over the uh, Philippines. Now, one of the major uh, things which we discovered when we were doing the project was the impact. We saw that within six months' time, several households were able to double, triple, or even quadruple their income. And um, these households, they sell a product or they sell a service. In the past, the only way for them to communicate, communicate with clients was within basically their barangay. And um, when we connected these households without teaching them anything, we saw that they now were putting, uh, posting their products on Facebook or other social media sites and were able to double or triple uh, their earning. We have a simple story of a, a single mother that was selling frozen goods before she was going door to door. And now she posts her products on Facebook and um, sells two or three times more and has more time to spend with her children. We have even one extreme story of a tricycle driver uh, during COVID, um, basically lost his job because of the lockdown. And uh, he started painting secondhand motorcycle parts, posts them on Facebook and sells them there. Then somebody saw the quality of his work and then asked him to paint his car. And that tricycle driver now is painting airplanes in Plaridel and earns over 100,000 pesos. Now, what we've learned um, and what internet actually is, because for us, we have internet access and we just use it daily without noticing actually what, what it does. This project teaches this internet, it provides basically two things. It provides access to knowledge and it provides um, access to a community. And that community can be um, relatives to chat with, friends to talk to, or a community where you can sell your uh, products to. 